today is day 12. Let's take a closer look at our chair. Alrighty, today is day 12. Let's take a look at this egg. Alrighty. So again, it's just growing a little bigger. I'd like to talk to you about the humidity though. Every day we talk about the humidity, but I haven't really explained it yet. So, do you remember the inner membrane of the egg? It's very important for keeping all the inner parts of the egg, like the yolk and the chalazna, in place. But what's interesting is, when the chick starts to hatch, if there's not enough humidity around the egg, the inner membrane kind of shrink wraps around the chick and it can suffocate. So, in order to make sure that the chick hatches successfully, we got to make sure there's enough water around the egg. Also, shout out to my brother Benjamin. He has enough magic to make me go upside down. Let's go back to the incubator. Today is I'll April 10th. Like Let's put it on there. It's a little crooked. Let me fix it. Okay. After we already talked about humidity, you can kind of already tell. We don't need to fill it today. Let's go meet the horse shotgun. So this is shotgun. He's a 19, our 19 year old quarter horse. He's the same age as I am, but in horse years, he's older than me. So Shotgun was originally from Texas, but we got him from a farm in Pennsylvania. He came with us. He came to us with Emma. We're going to talk about the parts of Shotgun. So let's start with his face. As you can see, he's grazing just like how Moo did. But unlike Moo, he does have both ends of teeth on the front top and bottom teeth on his front and he has spaces in between his back teeth and his front teeth let's show you so there's the spaces he ha that's where the bit goes for the horse and it has lots of grass in there right now <laughs> okay he has a very soft nose yes if you ever have the chance to touch a horse on the nose, do it. It's excellent. When you feed a horse, you want to hold your hand out very flat like this with whatever you're feeding them in the middle. Otherwise, they might accidentally clip your fingers while they're eating and that's no fun for anyone. They have really strong jaws. All the way back here is the joint of their jaw. So their mouths are pretty big. So when a horse is angry, his ears go flat back. When he's listening to you, his ears will follow you around. So horses can listen in a lot of directions because they can pivot their ears like this. You might be able to see him move his ears so he can listen to me talking. Now that we've learned about the head, let's move on to his front legs. This is the withers. You might recognize it from where we originally put Emma's saddle on. It's different than the shoulder because this is the backbone and here's the shoulder blade. So this is the outer wall of the hoof. This is the frog. It's a very spongy part of their hoof. It's what helps, it helps them with their circulation, sending the blood back up their leg. This is the sole of their hoof. We have soles on the bottom of our feet. It's a sensitive area. That's why we put shoes here so we can protect them from rocks. Here are his heels and back here are the bulbs. All right, we've picked it clean so you can show see it and now he's putting it down. We do that every time we ride to make sure that he's safe when, he, when he's walking. Shotgun has a couple of identifying marks. He has a nice white stripe on his face with his beautifully soft nose. Shotgun is a beautiful color called Sorrel and when he was younger he got branded with an anchor to show what farm he came from. Let's talk about his tail. So, so we're showing caution, we're making sure he knows I'm behind him by keeping my hand on him at all times. Now you might think from cartoons and such that horses tails are all hair. That is not true. It's actually partially a limb. He's got bones in there where the hair attaches. It ends about right here. And using this muscle here, he can control the tail wherever he wants it to go and he can use it to flick flies. So it's very vital towards keeping a horse safe from sickness. So this is Shotgun's forelock. 
And then this is his mane. The last part is Shotgun's hind legs. These are his hips. He's very muscular back here too. He's a pretty good old guy. So Shotgun weighs about a thousand pounds and he's a gelding, which means a boy. There's three terms when they're babies. We have foal, which is the gender neutral term. Then we have filly, which is for girls. And then we have colt, which is for boys. So Shotgun is a gelding. That means he can never be a father. A stallion is a boy horse who can be a dad. Uh, when you're gelding, you're generally a more quiet personality, but Shotgun still has a lot of fire in him. He is quite the personality. Shotgun loves to stick his head out the window when we're in the trailer. He loves going for rides, but his favorite part about going on rides is the nice tall grass. Thank you for joining me today at Nowhere Farm. I hope you will join me each day to check back with the eggs to see their daily development and hatch around day 21. We will also be exploring other areas and animals on the farm each day. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our other exciting farm activities, like goats having their babies, planting the gardens, riding moo, and learning all the things about Nowhere Farm. If you have any questions, check us out on Facebook or Instagram, or email us at nowherefarm at gmail.com.